got today is a certified Angus chuck roast. It's three pounds, uh, just under three pounds. Got a lot of marbling in here. It's going to be a good replacement for our brisket. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give a slight coat of mustard. Now, we're going to use that to bind to the uh, to the uh, the rub to bind to it. We're going to go pretty heavy on the rub. But not as heavy as the brisket. It's not as big as the brisket. So it can't handle, uh, it can handle quite a bit, don't get me wrong. But it, brisket, part of the reason you're able to go so thick with brisket is because they're so thick and it's such a big chunk of meat that you're able to, you know, really, really uh, take the sauce to it, so the rub to it, so to speak. And these, uh, these chuck rush, while they're big chunks of meat, they're not as big as a brisket. So, you want it to be good and coated, but you don't want it to be caked the way you do with a brisket sometimes. Thank you. Now we've got the Kamado Joe coming up to temp right now. This is going to hang out for probably about 45 minutes while the joke gets on up the temp and gets stabilized, and that's fine. So we've had this the lid closed probably about 45 minutes. Uh, we're at 177. We've got some nice wispy smoke coming from the lumps that I've put on the very bottom of the charcoal. Uh, here in probably the next couple of minutes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a couple more chunks on there and then I'm going to uh, clean the grates as I'm getting ready to place the uh, meat. I'll be back once uh, the grates are cleaned and we're ready to throw the meat on. Once again, we've got the racks. We were sitting right at 180. We had good smoke going. I added a couple more small chunks. Now, we're good to go. Give it a couple three hours. We'll see how she looks. We're going to go ahead and add the probe now too. So we don't have to open her up until she's a little further along. So it's been right at a little over two hours, two hours, ten minutes or so. Now, well, I'll pull the thing over in the shade because it's hot. It's a hot Arkansas summer. We're going to take a quick look at this. I already pretty much got a guess what it's going to look like. Ooh, she's looking good. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to, it's stalled out at about 156 or so. It's been sitting there for 20 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it, we're going to put some bone broth, a little bit of barbecue sauce and some butter in there. Try and make sure it stays nice and moist. We're going to wrap it right now. I uh, pull this, got the foil out ready to hook it to land. So let's yank her up, pull the probe. We're going to do this quick so you don't burn yourself. Other people probably wear gloves, but I'm an idiot, so I'm going to do that. Close that so I don't lose any heat. What we're going to do here, like I said a second ago, bone broth. Not a lot, just a little. Make sure the steam keeps coming. I got about a half a stick of butter that was frozen solid a second ago, but this Arkansas heats turned it to goo. Like I said, it's about a half a stick of butter. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to get it to where it will stay nice and moist in here. Now, I usually use uh, stuff called redneck lipstick, but I couldn't find any lately. And so I'm going to use some head country habanero, uh, apple habanero, which I think is great. 
I've never done it with this uh, particular type of cook, but we'll see. You can get this at Walmart. They ain't going to run out of this. So, pretty liberal. Take it. Wrap it up. Nice, good, tight seal on it. You can do one more. Just to be sure. You don't want it leaking this juice that you just put in there. Alright. Right back in. Grab your probe. Back in. We'll be right back up to the end in a second. So, pulled it about 190. It was probe tender as tender can be. Now, we're going to cube it. Oh my goodness, it smells good. So, I'm not sure if that's showing. On a juice. Oh, that's coming right apart. We're already close, so we're not going to have to do much, I don't think. Now, I like my bikes to be just a little bit smaller than most people, I think. This is very hot. I'm going to put it right back in this sauce. I was going to put it in the pan, but I don't think there's enough that we're going to need that. I think this sauce will be just fine, which is basically just a lot of butter. Put up in the juice. We're going to add a couple more little. Here with a little bit more head country. Kill the bottle. A little bit more butter. This is sugar free. We use a lot. It's thick now, but it won't be thick coming out. This is leaking a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do it. I wasn't going to do it. Rather than losing it, I'm going 
just about got some shade on this thing. Heat's about to break. But we're here to look at this. Turn, get them all coated. We're getting very close. Oh, that one's still pretty tough. That one's about right. Give them about 30, 35 more minutes. It's been about 30, 35 minutes. I've noticed that we're starting to roll some smoke in here out. Uh, top lid up a little bit, not full, but uh, and I opened the bottom up a little bit too. Uh, that got the smoke going again and let us get some final color on these burn ends. Let's take a look. Ooh, doggy. Them look good. They look right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take them off the smoker and I'll meet you inside. So we just pulled these off maybe about five minutes ago. Let them rest a little bit. Now we're going to give them a final turn in the sauce. Make sure everybody gets a nice good turn in this very tacky sauce. And to the board. Without further ado, let's see. They're pretty squishy. I'll tell you. That could fool somebody that doesn't really really know burn ends. That that tasted pretty close to a burn in. It wasn't quite as tender as a burn in. Let's try one more. Ooh, that tasted good though. That was just as tender as a burn in. I don't think my daughter's going to be able to tell the difference. I think she's going to say these are burn ins and this is fine. That's what I think is going to happen. I could be wrong, but that you, you'd you have to be a pretty pretty big connoisseur of a burn in to not know that that was the burn in. So you can't, uh, can't complain about that. We had a few things go wrong. Didn't have enough sauce. Didn't have my original sauce I wanted to use. Ran out of the original sauce I was using, so I had to put some more in there. Um, probably went a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. But all in all, the cook went really, really well. Uh, the joke did great. It held its temp perfect. Um, I finally got that down with the slow roller. The slow roller's been giving me trouble ever since I, I got the thing. I only had it about six months. Um, in general, this is, this, this is a very successful cook for two reasons. Number one, I get a great product that I think my daughter will like. Number two, uh, I like, so that's good. But number two, I also sort of figured out the slow roll a little bit, how to bring it up real slow and settle it in. Um, once again, I've, I've had some trouble doing that, but I think I finally got it figured out. Hope you liked the cook and hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video. We'll see you next time. I don't know what I'm doing next, but I'll do something.